So I said I was going to come back to this virtual thing. Now this this is another this is another thing that can cause a little bit of confusion. This loop back here, you've got three settings: off virtual or mix one two. Mix one two, despite being called mix one two, it isn't your main output. Mix one two will combine whatever comes in this channel which is determined by whatever is played back through here, your main out, that comes in there and is mixed with the microphone and then comes in here on the mic inst line one, two. I don't really see the use case for that as such but if you were if you were playing a game and wanted to record it and then mix it with your mic and you didn't have any sort of multi-track thing that you wanted to set up bear in mind these sliders aren't going to make any difference so whatever volume it goes out to the there on is what it will be heard there and the mic is just the full signal of a mic from the from the audio interface so it's not very useful for like balancing and stuff you you could if you had very simple requirements, you didn't need to mess around with the volume too much. You were happy the volume that was coming in here and getting picked up and going back in was a was a good enough volume for you to work with. Then then fine. Um, the slightly more useful one is the virtual one. So the the same signal that comes in here, mix one two, comes in here and then so. Mix one two goes out of there as as it did with the mix one two setting over here. It goes out to main one two, and then it it gets turned into virtual one point two. Now you don't see virtual one point two in here anywhere. You you'll only see virtual one two here. It does work with Azure, so you'll see it in studio in Persona Studio One. You can see it in Audition, yeah, and in any other sort of audio package like that. You'll you'll be you will be able to see it. And, if, and then any Windows device just looks at this and OBS can pick it up. So what, what you've done there, so you, for example, as a streamer, you might take, you might play your game through there, your microphone gets recorded there, your game comes in here and goes out to, it's on your main mix, so it comes out to your headphones. It's also being sent back round to Virtual 1, 2, and you can pick that up in OBS. I don't really like this feature particularly well I mean for, for OBS I don't actually do that for OBS and I will do a video on setting up OBS with this but what I do is I collect the output so it's being sent the signal's getting sent out to main out and OBS just collects that signal as it's out but before it gets sent to the audio interface so it doesn't get sent to the audio interface and sent back through the virtual thing and then collected that virtual thing is useful for it becoming being turned into an input so it can be picked up by persona studio one or audition but for a streamer it's not it's, it's not particularly useful and also you're, you're limited to just the one channel so you've got a choice you either send your music your discord and your system sounds all to mix um, to main one two, so they can all be then sent back into into the computer and come through the virtual. But they won't be separate tracks. Or you can listen to your separate tracks and on the you know on the outputs as I described a minute ago. But then you won't you'll only get the first one that gets sent to the to the virtual. You don't need to worry too much about multi track as a, just a streamer but if you also record like I'm doing now for YouTube then having separate audio tracks is quite useful and I, I don't really understand why they didn't make the virtual another plug here another set of these and you could just mix whatever you want and then send that one send that one in that would have probably been better I don't, I don't know if there's a reason why they can't do that I mean if I'm honest, the way I think this works is that when you, the virtual selected, it doesn't actually send it to the audio interface. I think it probably just sends it back inside the computer because 
why why would it work any other why why does it doesn't need to send it down a usb cable and then send it back up a usb cable when it when it's already where it needs to be it just needs to it, surely it can just be sent inside windows anyway who knows i don't know how they i've don't know how they've arranged it but um that would be my suspicion because they do talk about how low latency this is so it makes sense that they they that's how they would do it however as i say if you could just do a virtual mix that could be just picked up or better still if you could send stuff out and then pick it up as a virtual so it would be nice if instead of just one virtual and when i say one you can either have the virtual or you can have mix one two so there's two two there's two loopback options but you can only have one of them at a time it doesn't it doesn't really make a lot of sense i mean if you did the way i said where you'd have an extra virtual output there you you would do away with you could do away with them because if you wanted just mix one two you would just select your microphone and you'd have more flexibility to choose a different microphone i think i would have preferred if these if each of these had a virtual and it was just that if it was just there in windows already anything that goes out here then gets sent comes back in that i think that would be the I think that would be the best thing if they also did the virtual here as well so you could do a mixed virtual so you had a choice of being able to, to pick in windows you could have a multi-track of all of the physical inputs all of those digital outputs from the computer if they could be turned back into virtual inputs and then you also could do a virtual mix of everything as whatever you want just to record a single track in that 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 would just that would be quite a bit quite a bit better um but beyond that i think that's i think that's about it for this video if you found it useful please like the video if you have any questions please put them for don't forget to follow the channel if you want to keep up with the next videos in the series and you could also follow me on Twitch and Mixer where I do my streaming and on Twitter. And I've recently just set up a Patreon as well. So if that's of any interest, then, um, then please pop over to that and have a look. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.